Hi, welcome to my channel Tech Easy Learning. We are going to see SED, a topic in SED, that is Streamline Editor. Already I have given some introduction. Now we are going to see its internals. Okay. SED follows a simple workflow that is read, execute, and display. Reading means read a line from input stream. Execute means executing the SCD commands. SCD commands, I will I will uh, show some examples in the next video so that you can easily understand. Executing the SCD commands on a line and display the result on the output stream. What SCD does means it SCD reads a line from the input stream that is file pipe or std in and stores in an internal buffer called pattern buffer there are two buffers available in the scd one is pattern buffer another one is hold buffer pattern buffer whenever what is pattern buffer pa pattern buffer is a memory area used by the scd whenever we write uh, any commands it is stored in this pattern buffer all SED commands are applied sequentially on the pattern buffer. By default, SED commands are applied on all lines. That means globally throughout the file, unless line addressing is, is specified. Okay. Then finally, what will happen is after this applying the SED commands, the text will, will get modified. Our aim is to, I think you know about some, uh, uh, about a series. Every, everybody might have worked uh, if they have uh, worked in the Linux box, okay? A CD is used to chop or massage the data file. That means if any text file or data file contains the junk character, we will use a CD and awk. There is another one is called awk, we will see later. A CD will help us to remove all these junk characters, whatever with the empty spaces, etc. Okay. After applying all these commands sequentially, then final modified contents will be sent to the output stream. After sending this uh, data, the pattern buffer will be empty. Okay. The pattern buffer is the used by the SCD to store this temporarily store this whatever be the things the commands or uh, we issue and uh, the the STD that. Uh, data okay the text file okay whatever be the thing that is stored in the pattern buffer when the things are over it will be removed from that buffer hold buffer means here we can hold the data the name itself is a self-explanatory hold means holding the data and we can use it for later uh, retrieval purpose initially both hold and pattern buffers are empty only this is the brief introduction about the workflow of the scd we will see about the SCD commands, how to apply, how to use the SCD commands and one line scripts in SCD like that. We will see in the coming videos. Thanks. Bye.